Welcome to Bits and Bites with Brittany, your monthly look at what's going on in dining services. On today's program, we'll meet Dana Eldridge. Dana will show us a new technique of healthy eating by juicing summer fruits and vegetables. But first, let's see what else is going on in dining services for the month of June. Beginning June 3rd, Windows will have an outdoor barbecue every Tuesday from 4 to 6 p.m. On June 5th, the Mediterranean Cruise Dinner will be held in the Oak Room, Windows, Banners, and Fireside Restaurant from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. June 10th, Bingo in the Acorn at 12 p.m. Contact Acorn for tickets. June 15th, Fireside, Windows, and Banners will serve a Father's Day brunch from 11 to 1.30 p.m. and the Oak Room will serve a Father's Day dinner from 4.30 to 6.30. On June 17th, Catering will host an elegant dinner in the garden room. On June 18th, Guest Chef will be in the Fireside Dining Room featuring Chef Wayne Robbins and Scott Porter. And finally, on June 25th, each dining room will host a Strawberry Festival dessert bar at 4 o'clock p.m. Here we are with Dana Eldridge, Stores Managers for Oakcrest. Dana, how did you get into juicing? Hey Brittany. Um, well, you know, I'm kind of a purist, mm -hmm. so um, one of the things I noticed was that bottle juices often don't have as great a nutrition content as mm -hmm. freshly made juices, so that really got me started. Oh. So what's your favorite juice combination? I oh, see you have a lot of things. I do. We, yeah. You can juice just about any fruit or any vegetable. My favorite is I love um, parsnip mm -hmm. with some apples and some mint. Oh, okay. That's yeah, a nice combination. Well, maybe we should, we should try that. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Want to do it now? Yes. All right. So normally you take about three parsnips and we need to cut them a little bit. Do you want to help with that? Sure. Okay. And a nice big sprint or two of mint. Let's do three, because I like mint. Do you just cut them in slices? Just cut them in half. So all they have to do is just kind of fit down the chute here. Yep, perfect. Like right in half will be perfect. Great. Okay. Fantastic, yeah. We're gonna do the other two as well. Okay. So while you do that, I'm gonna work on some apples. And really all you do, again, the most juicers take fruit and seeds and scan the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So it makes it pretty easy. Okay. Yeah. So Fantastic. I understand that a lot of these things are available at your farmer's market. Yeah, Tell us about you know, we that. just started farmer's market. So we run farmer's market at the end of May through um, summer, through mm -hmm. at least the end of August, basically till corn and uh, tomatoes kind of give way. Um, Tuesday, outside in the windows lobby, mm -hmm. in, and then Thursday right out here in the Oak Room lobby. Okay, yeah, let's make sure we check one. Dana out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Fantastic, all right, okay. ready to go? Yes. Let's do it. Right, so, let's see. There we go. All right, that looks awesome. delicious. You think? It does. Um, <laughs> nice and nice and green. Well, vegetable um, juices can be a real acquired taste. Mm -hmm. You know, people are used to orange juice, maybe some carrot juice, mm -hmm. grapefruit juice, that kind of thing. So, vegetables taste a lot more minerally. Mm -hmm. um, so, is there anything left in the juicer itself? Yes. Yeah, so, it extracts. So, juicing extracts pulp or fiber. You can call it fiber from um, the actual liquid in a vegetable or in a fruit. 
Um, so there are a couple different kinds of juicers too. Uh, there's this one, which uses a centrifuge. So it's, it's high speed, it happens really fast. Mm -hmm. There are ones too that will crush uh, the pulp gently and kind of extract very slowly. Mm -hmm. um, those are usually better for berries, that kind of thing. But the hard stuff you usually want a centrifuge. Okay. Yeah. So what do you do with the pulp afterwards? So you can use the pulp, I mean, you can just you can just trash it, of course. You can put it in your garden. Oh, okay. Um, and the, your plants tend to like it. You can do compost with it. Mm -hmm. So there's some uses for it. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Well, let's try it. All right. Let's do it. So this um, will kind of skim the foam off of it a little bit. Some people, there's nothing wrong with the foam, but some people don't find it appetizing. So okay. It takes it right off the top. Okay. You definitely can smell the mint. Yeah, it's nice. Not bad. Not bad? All right, that's good. So do people, people replace people meals with it or just? So you can do a couple of things. You can do juice fast, which means you're replacing all of your meals and just getting the nutrition from the juice for a few days. Mm -hmm. That gives your body a nice rest. Um, you can do it for breakfast. It's just a nice fast breakfast. Um, most juicers can go right in the dishwasher, so you just okay. juke and go out the door you go. Um, you can do it uh, just as a beverage, like we're doing it here. Yeah. So it's just a nice way to get some minerals and some vitamins into your diet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what's another juice combination that you'd like to make? Um, well, there's one that I think is really just basic. It's You always have stuff in your fridge. It's some carrots, um, some celery, mm -hmm. a little bit of cucumber, an apple, and some orange. Um, gives you a nice round spectrum of uh, vitamins and minerals. Are there any fruits and vegetables that are better at juicing, or just pretty much um, anything? I, just about anything that has that has um, fiber in it, you can juice. It just depends, like fruits, you tend to get more juice out of, like tomato, a lot comes out, obviously. Um, pineapple, a lot comes out. The um, harder vegetables, like carrots or like parsnips, you're gonna get a little less a little out of, you less. need a little more. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. cool. Wanna try another? Sure. Let's do it. Well, we're about to get into another drink, but for those of you at home, that was parsnips, apples, and mint. Dana, what's in the second one? So, in the second one, this is what I call a basic. It's what you always have in your refrigerator. Uh, some carrots, mm -hmm. some celery, an apple, an orange, and then you can kind of flavor it with whatever else you'd like. Like um, maybe blueberries and strawberries are in season right now, so maybe mm -hmm. that'd be good. So would you consider this a smoothie or is a smoothie something different? Smoothie is something different. So um, juice is no fiber at all. It's just the liquid from plants. Okay. Whereas smoothie usually incorporates fiber, sometimes ice, um, some other supplements. Sometimes people will put protein powder in it, something like that. So would this machine be able to make a smoothie? No, you want to use like just a very basic blender okay. for a smoothie. Yeah, so that you're retaining. So this is specifically designed to extract the fiber out. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. let's get started. All right, let's do this. So here we have our apple and our orange. Now, oranges in this particular type of juicer with the centrifuge extractor, you do have to peel the hard outer layer off of the, of the skin. Okay. So you just want to kind of just stick your thumb in there, pull it off. Um, the white part, the pith part, is actually good to retain. There's a lot of um, nutritional qualities in that, mm -hmm. so you try to keep as much on there as you can. There we go. Perfect. So we've got that, and then our celery and carrots are already chopped up, mm -hmm. and strawberry, blueberry, both. What do you think? Let's try both. All right, let's do it. Here we go.
fantastic colors. Mm -hmm. Did you notice them all coming out the I did. carrot and then the blue? I noticed that you were changing the settings. What was that for? So that's about speed. Uh -huh. The softer, the usually fruits, like soft fruits like strawberries or like blueberries, need a slower speed to get the maximum amount of juice out. Okay. So if you have something harder, you need it to spin a little bit faster so that you can get all that fiber out. Okay. Want to give this one a try? Sure. So how often do you juice? You know, it depends. Um, sometimes I really go on what I call my juice jags, where mm -hmm. I do it every day faithfully for a couple of weeks, and then I'll take a little break. So I don't really have a routine when okay. I feel the need. Again, very strong. That's great. It is. Isn't that really good? Mm -hmm. You can really taste the blueberries and the strawberries. You can. Yeah. The great thing about juice too is sometimes you can cover up things that you find healthy, you know, that yeah. sometimes like lots of strong flavors like beets or kale, even if you put a little bit in your juice, you'll get the nutrition value, but you won't even taste it. This could get away as being a fruit juice. Excellent. Even though you have that carrots and celery in it. Awesome. Glad you like it. Mm. It's really good. Awesome. Remember folks, that juice contained oranges, apples, blueberries, strawberries, carrots, and celery. This has been Bits and Bites with Brittany. I'm Brittany Woodard. Have a great day.